syllabus statement 314, recalling that the nucleus of a cell contains the chromosomes on which genes are located. Chromosomes are the genetic information within a cell. So a typical cell would have a nucleus and we could open this nucleus up and within that we would find a number of chromosomes. Here illustrated by this photograph of a single human chromosome. The chromosome is composed of a molecule called DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, and this forms a shape known as the double helix. Sections of this molecule are called genes. And one chromosome will have many genes, possibly thousands of genes. Each gene carries the information for the construction of a protein. How this is achieved is covered in section 316 of the syllabus. The molecule itself is covered in section 315. The protein gives us the characteristic associated with the gene. For instance, a blood group. So we would have a gene which controls the production of a protein, which in turn controls the production of the characteristic. Different organisms have different numbers of chromosomes. For instance, a cat has 38. A chicken is known to have 78. A chimpanzee would have 42. And humans have 46 chromosomes per cell. The chromosomes are known to operate in pairs, known as homologous pairs. This next diagram illustrates some of the homologous pairs from an organism and we can see that the homologous nature is based on the length of the chromosomes, like this. So this is pair one, pair two, pair three, and you can see them paired up through pair 18. This pair here have been drawn larger to illustrate my next point, which is that if we locate a gene at this position here on the chromosome, this is one of a, hom of a homologous pair. So the position is known as the gene loci, if we go to the same position on the homologous pair, we find the same gene. So this is the same gene loci, same gene. So for instance, for a blood group, we would find one version of the gene here, and we would have another version of the gene there. So therefore, we have two versions of each gene for one characteristic. So a characteristic has two versions of each gene. These versions are called alleles and this is covered in more detail in section 317.